unorganised, happy community, red squirrels, and they do what squirrels do. Every autumn, they go off, take all the hazelnuts that are in the grove, and keep them safe for the long winter months. But it got cold, and the snow came down, and it was otherwise very difficult to find food. There was one problem though. There was grey squirrel bandits who would come um, and they would steal the hazelnuts from the red squirrels while they would sweep it. And this made things very difficult for them. And this carried on many, many years until one squirrel had a bright idea. Squirrel Billy called a meeting. Attention everybody! Lady squirrels, gentlemen squirrels, boys and girls squirrels, I have an important announcement. I've had an amazing idea. From here on, we're going to be able to hide our hazelnuts in the grove hedge. If we hide our, our hazelnuts there, the bandits won't be able to find them. It'll be much safer and we might be able to keep all of our hazelnuts all winter. Now this is a great idea and this is my idea and so I should be rewarded. Any squirrel wanting to have put their nuts in a, in a grove hedge will pay me one of their hazelnuts. <laughs> and on the whole, everyone thought that this was wonderful and they all agreed. And so it was. Until maybe a couple of years later, by which point, people started to notice that Squirrel Billy every autumn would not gather his hazelnuts anymore, but his feet back would eat. And they would get packed. Now, Squirrel Steve, he wanted a piece of this, and he had a good idea of his own. He called a new meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, squirrels, boys and girls, squirrels, your attention, please. I have a wonderful idea. Put your hazelnuts in the hedge. It's all very well, and it has helped things a lot. I have an idea which will make your hazelnuts much more secure, much safer. We have a large rock in the grove. You may all hide your hazelnuts under the rock, and this will keep them far safer, far more secure than they ever would have been in them under the hedge. As this is my idea, and a wonderful idea it is, I shall be rewarded. You will give me two of your hazelnuts if you want to store your hazelnuts under the rock. Our squirrel feet new. Every autumn from here on, he could sit back, he could eat, and he could get fat. Now, as time went on, a lot of the squirrels began to get upset. They were resentful. Why should we gather all the hazelnuts? But still, squirrel Steve, squirrel Billy, to sit back and get fat for my efforts. We should stop paying on our hazelnuts. This is not right. But other people, they were more worried. We cannot stop what's happening now. If we try and stop what's happening now, then the days of the grey the squirrel bandits will be back upon us. No longer will our hazelnut trees be safe. A community is divided. There is much unrest. People argued amongst themselves. And it was amongst all of this that one other squirrel, Squirrel Whitby, left the community very upset very cross and he went off to think. And as he was walking through the woods, he was staring hard at the ground, deep, deep in thought, he broke into what he thought was a tree. Looking up, and it did not, was not a tree. Then that he walked straight into the wise old canoe. The canoe looked down to see what was happening. You could see that this young squirrel was very sad and he knew that the red squirrels and hazelnut girl we're on the whole a happy book. What well, seems to be the problem? Squirrel Whitney looked at, told the wise old canoe all about it, told him about the grey squirrel bandits, told him about the squirrel's pillars and the squirrel's teeth and everything that had been going on. So the canoe nodded wisely. That stick had a word, Squirrel Whitney's ear. Now, the very next day, a new meeting was called. Squirrel Ritchie called everybody together 
and the lady squirrels, the gentlemen squirrels, the boys squirrels, the girls squirrels. Your attention, everybody! I have an important announcement. There has been much unrest amongst us all as to what we do with our hazelnuts. I have a new idea. I have a stick. Oh, well, everybody, what have we got here? And with this stick, continue Richard, we can use this stick to dig a hole in the ground. And with a hole in the ground, we can put our hazelnuts in and hide them safely over the winter. Everybody can make their own hole. And everybody can use our stick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, everyone thought. Yeah, you didn't ever squirrel. Just like squirrel Billy, just like squirrel Steve. Can you give us his bad idea? Can you take all our hazelnuts and get fat on our effort? Here we go again. No, 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 wait. That's it. This is my idea. You can all use this stick on a condition that when you finish with it, Pass it on. Everyone will be able to dig their own hole and nobody will be keeping a stick for themselves. This is my idea, and for it I shall be rewarded. My reward is that our community will be a much happier place where everyone will be getting on and everyone will have to be safe in the winter knowing that their hazelnuts are safe. And so it will. It works. And we don't need to worry about Squirrel, Squirrel Billy, or Squirrel Steve, because they soon worked out that it's far, far better that they lived in a happy place and had lots of friends than instead having the opportunity to sit back on their own and get fat. Thank you.